Also, you might find that uh, every dependency has also its own number, like for example 3.1.0 or tilde sign 1.0.4 and so on. And basically, package-json file lists all exact versions that were installed in your project, like for example on this line. I see that version of the body parser that was installed in this project is exactly 1.19.0. And now it's a good time to explain to you what those symbols here mean. This tilde sign or, for example, this power sign. So each program or application has its own unique software version. And those versions are incremented when new versions of the package or application are released. And if I go back to the web browser, I might see current version of this particular package express. And also here I see tab with other versions. If I click on this tab, I will find out which versions were released before. For example, I might find that there was version 4.17.0 that was released two years ago. Before that, there were versions, for example, 4.15.2 released four years ago. And so on and so forth. If I scroll to the very end, to the very bottom of this list, I'll find that there was first initial version numbered 3.0.0 and it was released 8 years ago. And also you may find out that each next version, newer version, is greater than previous version. And those three numbers indicate actually major minor and patch software versions. So, this first number before first dot is major software release. Next number between those two dots is minor release. And last number is patch release. For example, here in this number, major version is 3, minor version is 2 and patch version is 0. And software maintainers of each particular package or application may decide which part of the version they want to update when some additional features are implemented. And usually it's a convention to increase patch number when some very tiny fixes were made. For example, here we see that the version 3.2.0 was updated to version 3.2.1. There was change in patch version here. If there is some minor feature that was introduced, for example, here between those two versions, we see that minor version was updated from 0 to 1. And notice that when minor version was updated, patch version was reset to 0. And that's actually reasonable, because here we start from the very first patch version in this new minor release. Now let's search on this page for version 4.0.0, that is next major version update for this for example. So let's search for 4.0.0 and here it is. Notice that uh, this version was released after versions 4.0.0 RC4, RC3, RC2 and RC1. RC stand for release candidate. And uh, often you might see such suffixes in software versions and they go before actual major release or minor release. In this example, we see release candidates for this major version update. Also, there could be alpha and beta suffixes. And of course, when, for example, this version is updated to this version, then minor and patch version are reset to zero. Thus, this version 4.0.0 is next major update for this version or, for example, this version. So that's how software versioning works and if you want to learn more, I highly recommend to you to go to samwork.org website and read some details about semantic versioning. Also, please note that uh, software versioning is applied not just to NPM packages like, for example, Express or other packages. It is applied in general to any software applications that are developed in different software programming languages.